picture this. It's the late 60s and you're a police officer working the late shift. When a couple approaches you, they frantically tell you they've been attacked by an otherworldly creature. They account that they've been driving around an old World War II site known as the TNT Zone. And suddenly, they saw something in their headlights. Something they could only describe as a quote, 10 foot man with wings. They said it then flew behind them, chased them out of the explosive zone. You blow them off, but in the coming days, you're told something strange. You're told that two firemen had spotted a strange bird man with red eyes. Word spreads all around town about the mysterious creature, and spottings are cropping up everywhere. This is the Mothman. and welcome back to the channel. This video will be the start of our very special October series. October is the month of Halloween, so naturally I will be pumping out as many videos as I possibly can. Today's video will be about the iconic cryptid Mothman. It will be recounting all major sightings, accounts, and even evidence against the existence of the Mothman. Now, with no further ado, let's get right into this video. Now, as previously mentioned, Mothman came to fruition around 1966 in a police report from Linda and Roger Scarberry. In the days following this event, the creature was spotted and accounted several more times even described as a, quote, birdman with red eyes by two firemen. He was also spotted by a contractor at the time. The contractor even said he shined a flashlight at the creature and it had reflective eyes, similar to what he would describe as bicycle reflectors. So take that as you will. Following the sightings, there was also reports of unexplainable events such as technology malfunctioning and pets going missing. Now, ever since 1966, in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, there have been countless sightings of the Mothman, but some of the more recent ones include the following. An encounter in October of 2020 accounts a mother and her daughter citing a quote, winged demonic creature perched upon the home's outdoor fence. They described the creature as having human-like arms and legs and 10-foot wings, as well as being completely jet black. They also said it had glowing eyes. They stated that they stared at the creature for a moment in horror before it flew off into the night. Now, I take the story with a grain of salt, seeing as it's not really based upon any type of evidence. Up next is an encounter in August of 2011. A man and a woman were traveling the city of Chicago when they stumbled upon the man's old neighborhood. They had been taking pictures of an Indian statue outside of a convenience store in the man's neighborhood, but it wasn't until they completely left Chicago until they noticed they captured this image. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! No, but in all seriousness, this image is clearly fake. We're, we're moving on. <laughs> Back in 2007, there was a travesty in a small town. A large steel bridge completely collapsed while still being very busy. 13 people lost their life and over 160 were injured. Now, 
Following this event, some survivors even said that they had spotted the Mothman outside the scene of the crime. Some people have even theorized that the Mothman is responsible for the bridge collapsing, or others believe that it may have called to him. After nearly 56 years of being a legend in West Virginia and an icon for the cryptozoology community, the image of the Mothman is pretty down pat, so let's get right into the legend of the Mothman. Mothman is typically described as a tall, jet black color humanoid with a 10-ish foot wingspan with those iconic red eyes. If you want a more concrete visual picture of the Mothman, there's actually a statue of him appointed at Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I'll display it right here. Man, look at those abs. Anyway, some calling cards of the Mothman are his glowing red eyes or a high-pitched, very loud screech that sounds something like this. World War II explosive grounds, of which he was first ever spotted by Roger and Linda Scarberry, are believed where he still chooses to reside. Another attribute that distinguishes the Mothman from other cryptids is that not only is he a scary humanoid type of monster, he also is believed to have some kind of paranormal power. Some people have even speculated that he can shift between dimensions, which maybe explains why he would have been drawn to the St. Anthony Bridge Collapse all those years ago. Now, with all the witnesses and accounts of the Mothman, the evidence for him existing may seem pretty damning, but I'm going to show you guys a outside perspective. Now, back in 1966, following the first encounter with the Mothman, an idea was presented by wildlife biologist Robert L. Smith. Robert presented the idea that it is possible people were mistaking the bird species, the sandhill crane, for the Mothman. When further analyzed, the comparison makes a lot of sense, seeing as the bird has a almost 7 foot wingspan, similar to the Mothman, as well as the fact that the bird can come in all black and has a reddish tint around its iris that is reflective. It makes even more sense people would be baffled by this bird seeing as it's not native to the area and it's possible one of them lost track during its migration route. Not only does this specific bird perfectly match the description of the Mothman, but ironically around the same time the first sighting was made, the iconic Batman villain, Killer Moth, made his debut. Whether you're a believer in Mothman or not, you have to admit there are some damning points against his existence. Whether or not you believe in him is your choice. Hello everyone, and thank you for watching my video. I've enjoyed making it and put a lot of effort into it. I also hope you guys are noticing the nice new setup I have. See, Halloween is coming up, and seeing as October is the month of Halloween and spooky type of content, I decided that I'm going to try and do something special and pump out some extra videos for you guys. If you want to keep updated on future projects, you can follow us on Twitter. You can click on the description for our Twitter, or you can just look at the at right here. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned in the next weeks. Bye-bye.